Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to show you a really cool no mythic team to do this faction assault in Indrajit's Palace. As ever, you can pop to the shop first and grab yourself a tier 1 if you like, but do bear in mind if you have your horde level on level 100 or above in Indrajit's Palace in the Underworld, you will already have a potion of enchantment stored, so no need to actually buy one. However, if you are going to go further in this event, for example, you want to go to tier 4 to pick up a weapon like this, for example, then you're going to have to buy the tiers in order, so have to buy it again anyway. Never mind. Right, anyway, onto the team here. I'm going to start with a Medal of Arnu and two times Medal of Guard to boost up our power of Tesla. If you don't have two times Tesla, I'll show a couple of other options you can pick at the same time. The way this team works, a lot of people will know how good Tesla is. And she's just almost just... You can't, you can't not have her in, in a delve that's red or, or blue a lot of the time. She's just way too good. Does a low amount of true scatter damage initially, boosted by all ally and enemy armor. So what that means is as the enemy gets tougher, their armor gets higher, she just does more and more damage. Same can be said of this weapon, and it combines so well with Tesla it is crazy. This gives an ally magic plus one armor, boosted by all enemy attack. So in the same way as the enemy gets harder, they get more attack. This just gives a bigger and bigger boost every time. Also enrages and barriers them. So a really cool, amazing combination, Shield of Sky and Tesla. Like I say, I will show a couple of troops to pop in there if you don't have two times Teslas. But the Foxfire King is very good in this team as well. Now, only does the normal amount of true damage, true damage to all enemies, or does single target damage boosted by red gems and spirit gems, but the fact it's got that third straight, a 50% chance to inflict a fairy fire on a random enemy when matching red gems is really cool. Especially if you're a newer player. Because that damage boost from Tesla and the shield is going to be great anyway. But when you get another 50% on top of that, that is just going to be absolutely nuts. But if you do not have two times Teslas, what you can do is go to the spell effect, change that to true, true damage for example. And there are some really, really good options here. Like, obviously, I don't know what troops you have. Phoenix would be a not bad one. Option of damage to all or summon one to three of Valfire Hunters. Always good to have a summon in a delve as an option because once you lose a troop, they're gone forever. So pop that into the third slot or something, or maybe even at the back. And if you lose any troops, you have a chance to bring in a, a summon and, and keep the game alive which is half the battle in these delves. So lots of really cool options. Vinoxia as well. Very good indeed. Tina. Yeah, some good options there if you don't have two times. Tesla, but I am doing this as a no mythic team, so I'm just going to show you this one. The banner for this is going to be plus two red, plus one brown, minus one purple meteor banner from the Sin of Mirage. Geomancer, really, really good for this. 50% mana start. Reduce damage from skulls by 50% as part of the traits. Talent trees. Serendipity is good, as is impact. The second one is irrelevant. Anti-magic sphere, always good. Tactician, gain three magic at the start of battle is useful. Rock solid, always good. Gain a barrier when matching brown gems, which we will do because we collect brown for the weapon. Stone mastery is pretty good as well, as is a tree of knowledge, up to you, but we don't actually... Collect green, I don't think, for this as a standard colour. Oh, or do we? Foxfire King. Yes, you could have that. Not bad at all. And a Fortitude. So a really good set of traits in, in there. Right, so um, let's dive into a couple of battles and show how this works. So the enemy starts off on a low level, but as you progress through this delve, then they get harder and harder. More power and more power, but Tesla just gets more and more angry. And it just completely works against them. So we're looking for red if we can. Red does a double couple of extra benefits. Not only do we collect red for our Tesla, but every time we collect red, we have a 50% chance to inflict fairy fire on a random enemy. So really cool. That third enemy has been inflicted by fairy fire. Obviously it doesn't matter right now at this particular stage in the game, but if you're a newer player, then that is really gonna make a big difference to how much damage you do. Like I say, two times Medal of Guard to increase the power output from Tesla. And Arnu to just give yourself that little bit of a head start in mana. Four lots of Leprechaun. This is a killer team, if ever there was one. Not. Mana 
Tesla's ready. Scatter damage to all. And everybody's dead. I'll only show a few fights on this one. No need to show these lower level ones. I'll jump into the delve soon and show some much harder battles. Using exactly the same team. So no red. Do we have any blue? Not really, but we have that. And we can do it that way. Very, very good. Everybody's dead. It's good for us, not so good for them. Once you get to this stage, you can pop around the outer edges if you like, picking off the extra rooms to build up the room treasure multiplier. For the speed of the video, I'm just going to jump into Indridge's throne and knock him off it, basically. Don't care how many arms he's got. Makes no difference to me, pal. No red. Have some blue instead. And there you go. See, our other Tesla wasn't ready, so the Fox Fire King comes into play instead. It's the handy benefit of using different colours on the different troops. Alright, so let's show the same team again, but this time in the delve itself on the hardest level, level 500. My horde level is mid-level on this, I'd say. 150 is roughly about right to get this done comfortably. All part of the game though, enjoying these harder battles and building things up to make them more achievable. So exactly the same team, exactly the kind of same tactics we were using before. <clears throat> but this time the enemy is going to be a, a lot tougher. Much higher attack, much higher armour, but that actually plays into our hands. We can get a constant barrier with a shield of uh, Skya and collect it brown at the same time. Due to our rock solid, as well as that we can get our troops buffered up and just knock them out. Not going to be any trouble whatsoever. Unless we get unbelievably unlucky on our mana colours, which is, again, extremely unlikely. Can always collect brown. I don't mind leaving things like that. We're ready next round anyway, but always good to have a barrier. That done nothing. Now, the boost before was, what, 200 and something? But now it's 667, but nothing's changed on me. That massive boost from 229, was it, before? up to now 667 is all due to the fact that the enemy is more powerful. Completely works against them. So um, extremely cool. Right, we can't get any more brown, I mean uh, blue or red for Tesla, so we'll just, shall I give him a skull back or shall I just um, get this powered up even more? <clears throat> no, let's do this. Let's chuck on somebody that hasn't got a shield. That protects them. We've got more of a boost now and the boost has gone up to 793 so really really cool both Tedlers are ready to cast cast one cure boosh as you can see i'm going to do 793 damage but um there's no one here 793 left in their team so what this means is this is still going to work for you in two casts even if you're not anywhere near my uh, player level because we've still got this to go with that and we've still got the fox fire king there to cast as well so we're going to wipe them all out, job done, back to back Tesla casts, and it's going to be as straightforward as that on that first level. And on to the next one. Dwarven Aelvall. Fighting drunken dwarves! Sounds like fun. Grab the red, you get a chance of that fairy fryer sometimes. When you get this, generally you always cast it on somebody else. Because if you have this upgraded, part of the upgrades, the second one is shielding. It means you get a barrier whenever you cast this. And the fact that this gives whoever you cast on a barrier means you effectively get two barriers for the price of one. So pick someone else that hasn't got a barrier, park it on them, bingo bango. We have two barriers now. The boost is 993. These dwarves have got more powerful. I'm going to give him a bash with axes. No red or no brown to get. No red, no blue. Keep on saying <clears throat> brown, not blue. What's going on? Right, so um, what are they going to do? They're going to transform green to brown, maybe. Maybe. Oh, that's not dangerous. Let's uh, get that done. I think we're going to be fine when we cast this twice. Yeah, by a long way. By a long way. We're very fine as well. So like I say, if you're a newer player, that Fairy Fire really coming into, into effect. 50% extra damage from incoming spells. The enemy team is not going to be happy.
Well, one turtle is ready already. Already ready, Eddie. What have we got? 907. See, I haven't even got to do anything. This is going to be enough. No, it's not. Oh, it's going to be close. 246. Yes, it is. Oh, they got a cheeky summon. What's it? So what I mean about casting it on somebody else, we don't have a barrier now, but we cast it on somebody else. Two barriers for the price of one. Very, very nice indeed. Our Foxfire King is ready next, but we need our Tesla up really, so no red though. But we can get the Foxfire King up like that and a tree of enchantment, enchant for our top troop at the same time. Don't need to cast that. It's going to do a low amount of damage. Not too worried about that, so we'll just concentrate on getting our Tesla up. Get rid of that cheeky summon on your bike, mate. And we'll have a look what the merchant has got to offer. He's just popped into the pub and say, Oi, mate, do you want one of these? I'll say, oh, I'll go on there. I'll have, a, I'll have an Imperial Deed for 250. I think that is actually a decent value if you have the gems. Quite difficult to come by, Imperial Deeds. So, yep, yeah, he popped into the pub and we took advantage of his offer. Let's do this. Indrajit's throne. Waving his arms around. Thinking he's all hard and stuff. Alright. Get red. Get a chance of that fairy fire. There we go. Third trip is fairy fired. We can not collect any other colours. So we'll collect brown. Always good to have a barrier for your top troop. Going to get a barrier anyway. So let's just cast that on somebody to get the protection on them. What's the boost? 1,263. In fact, it's going to be worse for this troop here, that third one, because they're fairy fired. So yeah, really bad news for them. Very, very easy indeed. Next Tesla's ready, Tesla's ready next round. Let's just, let's just let the Foxfire King chip in with a little bit of damage just to make him feel like he's useful. But he is useful. That fairy fire really comes in handy. And there it is, and that is... The level level 500 that are, is how easy it is with them um, tesla and the shield of us gaia a lethal combo in delves absolutely love it um and there it is claim your rewards and move on to the next one if you enjoyed this video it'd be really cool if you bash that like and subscribe button it really does help but most of all a thanks for watching catch you again next time bye for now